Hi guys, I have asked you on Instagram if you wanted to see a full airbrush application um, and you guys said yes. So by popular demand, I have filmed this video for you to kind of show you how uh, the, the airbrush machine that I've purchased, how it works, how I like it, how I don't like it, some tips on how to use airbrush foundation as well. And um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, keep on watching and let me know if you have any questions. This is my machine right here. I got the Temp2 Pro Plus Premier Kit. It comes with a Pro Plus compressor, an SP35 airbrush gun. You have a foundation starter kit of 12 little bottles, an airbrush cleaning kit, a Pro Airbrush Cradle, and an SB airbrush cleaner for Oz. This one retails for about 325 American dollars. Now I went ahead and only put makeup on my eyes uh, because I didn't want to bore you guys with all the steps and everything. So right now I'm just going to apply my primer as I normally do. Um, normally I use kind of like the same products underneath so don't forget to moisturize and things like that. Uh, so for the primer I'm going to use the Illuminating Primer from Cover Effects. You guys can see it. It's a pretty good primer. Winter tends to be super harsh, so I always like something that moisturizes a lot and gives you that glowy type of skin. Now I did notice that with this particular airbrush foundation, it's not that moisturizing, and sometimes if you have dry patches, I kind of feel like the product gathers there. So I try to avoid having super dry skin at all times. It is hard with this winter right now because it's minus 20 outside almost all the time. The first step, I just prime my skin. And now you actually need to match your foundation. Now in your kit, it comes in 12 shades. Um, I tend to be super light or like have like super fair skin mostly because it's winter so I haven't seen sun in a long time. I don't really get tan anywhere. I use self tanner from time to time. But most of the case most of the time I don't. So the good thing about this is you can actually mix the foundations because they're all liquid. So I think I'm going to mix these two because I think this is a little bit too gold for me right now and I need to kind of bring it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to mix the uh, ivory, so it's 003 and the uh, porcelain which is 001 and I'm just going to mix them together. Ooh. So before you use them, you just have to shake them a little bit. What I don't like about this foundation is the when you open it, it kind of leaks. So I don't know if you guys can see. Let me, yeah. So it kind of leaks all the time, and it's not the product itself; it's the the packaging. So you kind of lose a little bit of product right there. That's something I really don't like because you know, like a couple of drops every now and then, you lose them. That's that's a lot of product because the bottles are super small, and you can with with a couple of drops, you can actually do a full face foundation. So that's the thing that I don't really like about them is that the packaging is done pretty poorly, and you lose a lot of product. So take your gun, airbrush gun, and then I'm going to use a couple of drops of the more darker one. I'm going to use a lot because, you know, just apply a little bit if you need more, then add some more drops because if not, you're just going to waste the whole product. It's going to stay in here and then you have to clean it out. So it's a whole mess. And then I'm going to apply a bit of the lighter one. I'm just gonna go just a couple. It's pretty loud. I'm just gonna say that because you know it's an airbrush, it uses it pushes out air, so it's kind of normal to be a little bit noisy. I was expecting it because I did use an airbrush gun a while ago. It was 
same thing super noisy i thought this one it's because it's smaller <laughs> i don't know it's super tiny as a reference it's like this big <laughs> this is my head as a reference uh so i thought it's going to be less noisy i thought maybe it evolved a little bit i don't know technology but it's still the same it's pretty noisy so bear with me i'm just gonna turn it on so i think you can hear it already and what i do i normally put my because if i'm mixing i'm just gonna turn it off for a second so if i'm mixing foundations i want it to be mixed inside and I'm just going to turn it on and then kind of put my finger here and then, you know, turn it on, like push the air through it and it's going to mix. So, just, like, just a little bit. That's kind of like how it gets mixed inside. You can just look at the color and once you can see it's one color, you don't have them separately, then you're good to go. All right, so just make sure you have a mirror and then you can start. Use circular motion. So don't forget, only circular motion. Perfect. So normally you need to let it dry a little bit. I like to just let it dry completely and then go ahead and apply powder because what I've noticed is that if you apply powder right away it kind of tends to grab it and then it just looks like a whole mess because it looks dry it creates dry patches for some reason I don't know it's if it's necessarily the airbrush foundation in general or or just this one specifically that I got from temp2 I don't know if you guys had a different experience let me know if yours kind of is the same but normally let it dry and if you want to apply a second layer go ahead so this is how it looks with two layers on I'm just gonna bring you closer It looks pretty natural if that doesn't gather around here which I like sometimes if I I find it that if you have fine lines then you need to go with a beauty blender kind of like on top and just pat it down because it goes into your fine lines and I feel it doesn't move after so I do like to blend it just to make it perfect